Greetings, Miss Weimer's third grade class. I hope you're as excited about today's lesson as I am because it is on drum roll, please. The main idea. So, first things first is the definition of a main idea and the details. A main idea is what the text is all about, and the details are the key points that support the main idea. So, ask yourself, what is the passage mostly about? What are some important details from the text? And which details best support the text? So I've come up with three easy steps for you guys to find the main idea. The first step is to read the title and make predictions about the text. The second is, as you read, identify the important and unimportant information. And step number three is to use the important details to create the main idea. So, let's do this! For an example, I brought our recess, our after recess book, I Got a D in Salami. I'm going to be reading a passage out of page 51 if you guys would like to follow along with me. At our school, PS 87, we don't get letter grades until the fourth grade. Up until then, your teachers only write comments on your report card, and they're usually pretty nice. In first grade, my teacher wrote, Hank has excellent scissor skills and has made many valuable contributions to our unit on the harbor. My parents took me out to dinner to celebrate that report card. In third grade, my teacher wrote, Hank is a natural leader and is well liked by his peers. He needs additional practice in his reading and math skills. We didn't go out to celebrate for that one. Not to worry, Zip, Frankie said, throwing his arm around my shoulder. So what if you got to see your two on your report card? You just got to give it a little more gas, right? Pedal to the metal, Ashley said. I had to tell them the truth. They were my best friends. Listen up, guys. I didn't get a C, I said. I got three Ds in spelling, in math, and in reading, and a really bad letter to my parents. So in order to make it a little bit easier to find the main idea, I organized a little graph to help sort details one and two and to conclude with the main idea. For detail one in our passage, I concluded that Hank had good comments on his report card in third and fourth grade. In detail number two, Hank confessed to his friends that he got three D's on his report card. And for the main idea, Hank is ashamed of his struggle in the fourth grade due to past years of success. So class, to finish the lesson, I would like you to go home and read a passage, any passage out of any chapter from our after recess book. I want you to come into class with two details and one main idea to present to, our, to us tomorrow.